Hello, welcome back to another video. I just went out and did a couple errands and got some kind of fun stuff. So I thought that I'd do a little haul with you guys. The main stop was at Target for some holiday Christmassy things. When everything is white, glimmering silver white, and stillness fills the night. It's Christmas A winter wonderland A snowball in each hand Take me away Christmas Day There's joy in the air Families near We give thanks for this past year Nothing compares to the love that we share. Oh. Honestly, I wasn't even planning on going to Target. <laughs> Jared and I are running errands. And up here, there's a Costco right next to a Target, like in the same shopping center. And I was planning on just sitting in the car and reading. Side note. Because I've been reading Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. And I am a huge Harry Potter fan. I love reading the books. I love the movies. Especially around this time of year. But I had never read this one. And my really good friend. Also a huge fan. Probably loves Harry Potter even more than I do. She gave it glowing reviews. So I finally started reading it like three days ago. And I read 120 pages. Then a little bit over 100 pages again. And then I once I get to the end of the book. I kind of start reading a little slower. Because I almost don't want it to end. So... I've been kind of lagging on finishing it. But I'm on page 284 out of 304. Clearly, I'm just going to need to read that. Good thing I know what page I'm on because I just closed it without the marker on it. Um, I'm definitely going to have to finish that today right after I record this because that's such a small amount of pages. I just need to read it. But I was going to sit in the Costco parking lot and read that, but he was like, hey, do I want to drop you off at Target? Because my friend, Brittany, thank you girl, got us a Target gift card for our going away and like a kind of a tiny house warming. And I bought a couple things a previous time that I went. One of which is this wire basket right here that we've been using for our blankets, which honestly I might return. I left the tag on it just in case because when I went this time there were some wicker baskets and I couldn't find wicker baskets last time. I got a couple other things but I had about half the gift card left so I was like yeah let's go why not and I spent more than the gift card but it's supposed to Foxley Mr. Muggsel man you can't do that. He's like chewing on the camera. I haven't really gone through or started unpacking getting out the Christmas decorations yet. I have a couple things here and there like I've got one of our gnomes right here <laughs> i have this gnome obsession i don't know what it is i think they're adorable and foxley loves them too he likes carrying them around and so i have an extra entertainment with the gnomes because he plays with them and carries them types of Christmas decorations that we have so I was there I was in a mood I was weak bought some stuff <laughs> so one of the things I got which is completely not Christmassy at all but I saw it months ago and then I was like hoping that it was gonna go on discount because you know how their coffee mugs eventually go on discount and put them on an end cap in the back I've been waiting for that. And it never happened and then they disappeared everywhere and they stopped carrying them and I've been literally thinking of this cup for months so I got it. It matches a lot of other things. It says, do not disturb on it. Sometimes I feel silly getting coffee cups because I have my Ember coffee mug, which I love and use for coffee every single day, every single time without fail. I'm never going to use something else for a latte, especially because it's so cold here. I need it to keep my stuff warm. But I also like, hey Barney, I also like using coffee mugs for like oatmeal, ice cream. So mugs are still... They're still in it to win it. 
Barney, what do you think? So you know when you first walk into Target, they have the section where things like a dollar, three dollars, five dollars. I try to almost avoid that like the plague every time because I feel like they don't always have the best quality items. I'm always just buying it just instinctively. That's not the right word. Impulsive. Impulsively buying things. <laughs> we could call it an impulse. I mean this was all an impulse. Let's not lie here. But this was in that section. It's a little three dollar guy. They had them in white, red, and green. And of course we had to do green. I can't believe I got, first of all, <laughs> I was looking at what I bought and then the backdrop I was planning on having and I was wearing a green sweater also. I was like, this is too much. They're not going to see me. They're not going to see the things. I've got too much green going on. But we love green. We're a green household. So we got him in green. I think I'm going to put this in our bathroom. We have this wooden, I never know what to call it. It's like hanging wood decor. We got it from Home Goods, but it's kind of like hanging shelving that's in the bathroom, and we're going to stick this guy in there. We also got perfect the Barney's over here. Kitty Christmas sweaters. We kind of got one for all of them. If you guys have seen any of our last year's Vlogmas or our Vlogmas bloopers, I will tag the bloopers video above because I just think it's the funniest, cutest thing ever. I was thinking of doing bloopers again this year. You guys let me know. Should I do a bloopers video? As I've been editing my videos, I keep thinking like, should I set those clips aside and then turn them into something? But I think that I might just need to get better next year about doing that. And maybe I won't just have Vlogmas bloopers. I'll have like the whole year in bloopers and it'll be like a fun end of the year thing. But I don't know. Let me know. Is that fun? Is that interesting? Let me know. Hi, Foxley. You think it's fun? Foxley thinks it's fun. He meowed. But last year, we got Christmas sweaters for the cats, and they did not fit. But we tried, we even tried cutting them <laughs> to make them fit them better, and it did not work. They did not like it. It was too tight. It was just not right for their body. So I saw this, and it is technically for cats or dogs, size small up to 20 pounds, and all three of our cats are less than 20 pounds, so I think that it will work. But what really got me with this one is... They only have, so the one before, I think it had a spot for both their front arms and their hind legs to go through, and that just didn't work for their body. So this one has a spot for their front arms, but it's not something that's going to hinder their movement. They give you a lot of room there, and then it's just kind of their butt and their hind feet that come out of here. So again, it's not hindering anything. I really hope this works. They get kind of cold to the touch like it gets chilly here it'll get down to like in the 30s or 40s in the evening we've seen like 27 28 on two really cold nights and the boys sleep up there with us barney likes to sleep down here and we will put blankets around her ideal temperature for cats is 50 to 60 degrees so just keep the cats as warm as can be but i also thought it could be cute for because foxley always wants to go outside and keep him warm on his outdoor walks which we've yet to master here but we're getting him more and more comfortable with the outside. I will definitely show you. Probably not in this video, but in a future video, I will update you guys when we try to put this on them and let you know how it goes. Last item for us that the cats have already gotten a little dirty. Rug. Mary and Bright. This is a kitchen rug. We currently have a kitchen rug that is very similar to this, but Foxley has been tearing it to pieces because his new favorite toy is a hair tie and he keeps getting it stuck under the rug and attacking the rug to get the hair tie back. So I wanted to get something to help the rug that we have now last longer so we're giving it a little break. We're going to use this guy for now and then bring that guy back after the holiday season after it's been able to breathe and find its life again. So while there I also found a couple little gifts. Don't worry, Brett. This did not come out of the gift card that you got me. <laughs> and these are for people that, well, my mom might see this. But I also might have already given this to her if I decide to give this to her before this video even comes out. The reason I don't know if I'm going to give it to her, even though I'm obsessed with this, is because technically she gave me the same thing on a different year. But I love the candle so much that I'm like, why would she not want to have it too? So they have their forest fur candle at Target. It smells heavenly. I still save my old jar from the candle mom got me because the jar still smells so good. But they're soy candles and the box that this one came in, which again, 
is really the winning factor is a velvet green box if I can close it it's a velvety green box so this is forest fur made by threshold scented candle soy wax blend and velvety so this might go to mom but again she already gave me one so maybe she already has the same scent herself or I might give it to one of my girlfriends debating but had to get it and then for black Santa socks I mean come on come on of course a of course Santa's black why not and I just I couldn't help it I couldn't help it so Santa socks and then I did get I'm so excited I did get something for Bubby not from Target also in the same shopping center I wasn't gonna go this time but I was walking back out to the car and literally saw BevMo I was gonna go at a different time when I was the only one shopping so that he didn't even know I was getting something from BevMo he didn't even know there was something hiding in the house for him for Christmas but they were there I was scared they're gonna run out so I got it now and Bubby's wandering around the house right now like fixing things on the outside tweaking stuff so I'm gonna show this to you so quick before he can ruin anything. So, Bubby loves eggnog. We're vegan, right? Eggnog, not vegan. They have, there is one company called Misunderstood Whiskey that makes an oat nog that is vegan. All right, no Bubbies and any doors? Mm, you guys, I'm so excited. He's gonna love this so much. And I, ugh, it's going to be so hard for me also. Okay, I'm putting it back in the Bebmo bag and then hiding it. He's not going to see. Ooh, but real quick. So it says dairy-free, gluten-free, nut-free, egg-free. Um, looking online and just seeing things in general, this is the first and only vegan hard nog that I am aware of, period. So if anyone's looking for some misunderstood whiskey, I got it at Bebmo. I imagine other Bebmo's carrying it. And yeah, I'm excited. So I've also decided on that note, which I told Jared today, that my new goal this year is going to be to not spoil any of the presents I'm giving him early because I love shopping. I love giving, I love gifting. I typically buy stuff throughout the month and I give it to him almost instantly when it arrives. But then we don't have like a, a fun feeling tradition of like on Christmas Eve and Christmas specifically having things to open. We normally would go to family and then have things to open on Christmas. But being here in Northern California, we don't have any family around so it's going to be just us. So like I don't want to not have anything to open on Christmas. So I'm going to make sure to not open anything early that comes in the mail. Do a better job about restraining myself and keeping it all secret. I will let you know if I'm able to actually do that once we get to the end, but hopefully I can show you beautifully wrapped presents. Wait, I don't have any wrapping paper. I don't know. Maybe I'll find it in the pot when we go to the pot on Wednesday. But beautifully organized Christmas gifts come Christmas morning. So yeah. My last little thing which is really not helpful for any of you because you can't go and buy it. But I discovered a donut place in Sonoma County that has vegan donuts. This was my second time going. Once I went without the bub. This time I went with the bub. This has been in the car for like half an hour. So I feel like this is a terrible, terrible example of their donuts. But gorge my friends it is Johnny's Donuts and they have they're not completely vegan but in their case they have a whole section that is just vegan and they had four different options this time so we ate one in the car on the way back and then I wanted to save one for getting back you know spread out the love they make their base with sweet potato so it tastes kind of pumpkin-y sometimes also I couldn't help it so I just wanted to show you guys Johnny's Donuts Stoma County Santa Rosa if you're up here and you're vegan and you want a donut, give it a shot. All right, one more bite. Hmm. Here we 
they're messy donuts. That is the truth. So I have temporarily hid the vegan dog back here because Bubby ain't gonna find it. He never goes in here. So that's temporarily where it's hidden and then later I will find a better place. <laughs> also side note, pardon me while I am figuring out the lighting in this place. We have a lot of windows. So even though I love the light that we get in here and everything, it both makes it cold. We lose like all of our heat out the windows and then I constantly am trying to fight and figure out what light is best when. So figuring it out. But in the meantime, I want to part with you guys for now, and then I'm going to finish reading this book as I sit in a spot with so much sun. What is that? Oh my gosh. It's okay. I'll give you guys some sunny eyes for a second. But I'm going to finish reading this since I only have 20 pages left. I can't believe I stopped when I only had 20 pages left. But thanks so much for tuning into this video. I really appreciate it, especially during Vlogmas when so many videos are coming out that I know you guys already have so much to watch and you're probably bogged down with a million amazing Vlogmas videos to watch. So thank you so much. If you aren't subscribed already, please subscribe to my channel. Give this video a like. Give it a comment. I know it sounds silly and kind of cringy because everybody always says this and asks for it, but it really makes a big difference and it really helps. So thanks so much for watching this video I can't wait to see you guys again soon which will probably be in two days if I'm still on schedule with my vlogmas videos which I said I wasn't gonna call vlogmas but it's like what else do I call it 12 days of Christmas I'm doing it every other day but vlogmas can maybe be whatever I want it to be so yeah <laughs> but hope you guys are having a good one I'm gonna get into this <laughs>